Good morning, this is Big Mike Electric again, and today we're going to simulate a power outage. And last Thanksgiving, we were having Thanksgiving here, and we actually had a power outage in this Home Depot generator and our Tesla plug that we put in for the Tesla. Once again, it's our 14-50R saved the day. Now this generator puts out 30 amps at 220 and we run it on propane so that the carburetors don't get gummed up and this thing sits around six months, nine months out of the year and it's a battery startup and it also has a pull cord if the battery's dead I can pull start it if I have to. The main thing to know when your power goes out is you have to shut the main breaker off coming into your house. So this is not the main panel, this is a sub panel, and this is the 50 amp breaker that feeds this 50 amp plug. We put this plug in here for the Tesla. And someday the Tesla car, I believe, will be able to back feed your house also. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I have this set up. I'm going to hook up the gas and then I'm going to walk over to the main panel and shut the power off. So let me hook up the gas real quick. Stay with me. This is easy. I keep a couple tanks of propane around. So that and now it's open. So that's good. Okay, we made it over to the main panel. This is our just 100 amp main panel for this property. The main breaker is right here. I just shut it off. So there's no power coming to the house. And I once I do stop the generator, I won't be back feeding to the grid. So I don't want to hurt anyone down line. Or if the power does come back on while we're doing this, we won't have any problems with our generator with a back feed from the Edison or Anza Power. So we're done here now. This is shut off. We're going to go back and stop the generator and do our little back feed. Okay, here we are. There is no power. The refrigerator is dark and there's no lights that are working. So the power is off. There's no power in the house at all. Okay, we're back at the generator. Once again, um, we hooked up the gas. Um, before I start up the generator, I want to tell you what I'm going to do. So there's no power here. So before anything gets energized, I want to plug this in. Because if you start up the generator, and you plug this in now this is hot and it's a potential of shocking someone with 220 so that is the most dangerous part of this DYI scenario is let's get everything plugged in and safe before we start up any power right now the main power is off there's no power in this plug this breaker is shut off so I'm inserting it in here that's that plug, and then the, the 220 plug, I put it in there. Now it's on propane, it's a dual fuel generator. Turn that on, and then we'll see if we got enough gas. <laughs> So now you can see the lights are on, it's check. Refrigerator's running. Everything's good. The generator, you can hear it humming in the background. We got water pressure, this house is on a well, so we have water pressure. The only thing, that generator is not big enough to run the air conditioning, but we can run the heating, so all is good. So 
I shut the breaker off so I'm not getting any back feed, but there's still no power because the main breaker is off. So that is that. And I'll disconnect the gas. Make sure you shut your gas can off. Now, that's the simulation. That'll save your day. It's a lot cheaper than having a big generator with a transfer switch. If you're smart enough just to go through the steps, watch the video a couple times so you know to shut the main off. You shut this off and make sure you have everything plugged in before you start energizing. That's what I have to emphasize. Make sure you have everything hooked up before you start energizing because this will become electrified as we call it in the field it becomes hot but it's electrified so we don't want anyone touching that so or if you plug that in and it comes back this will become electrified and you don't want anyone touching that and in the field we call it becomes hot so that's one of the terminologies that we use so now we're going to go back to the main breaker and turn it back on. We're back at the main panel. We shut the generator off. We have it all safed off at the other end. This is hooked up. Now at the very end when the power comes back on, you just turn the main breaker back on, the main, shut your panel, and you're done. <laughs>